Jonas. is 
possibly still leading in this field, but it's really on the backs of individuals rather than organized institutional uh, responses. Uh, when I look around the world at the people who could possibly benefit most from any energy source that comes out of this field, the two countries that lead right to the top of that list are China and India. Uh, countries that are that are energy starved and largely required to import their energies from the outside. India is of particular interest because this is a material science problem and in India happens to be particularly well endowed with capable material scientists. And one of my uh, hopes in this visit and my previous visit that uh, Dr. Srinivasan organized is to encourage both the students and the faculty, the senior uh, scientists in this, uh, in this country, to engage themselves in this topic and, and uh, we need to do so much work, understanding the structure of the palladium uh, matrix, understanding if other metals are possible, uh, what uh, combinations of materials in the solid state is going to work best in this uh, field. It's certainly true that that problem could be addressed in the United States. The fact is that it isn't to be. The people that are, that are addressing it more are the uh, Italians. And I do believe that Indian science could contribute, and I would like to see them do so. First of all, I would like to compliment my senior colleague from Baba Atomic Research Center, Dr. Srinivasan, for bringing this conference to India for the first time and providing an opportunity for the young minds. Finally, I think the young minds, they have to really take it forward. Uh, because the professionals will continue to do this as, a, as, as it interests them. As I see it, uh, this is an area which has been uh, an enigma, I would say, even after 20 years since it was announced in 1989. So there are still puzzling aspects which I'm sure all the experts uh, say that. And I think slowly we are understanding many things about, as it has been always said, how we control this, how do you get it reproduced. These are the basic questions of any scientific uh, investigation and I understand that over a period of time many things have been now understood. But it is very clear it is not belonging to just one discipline. It looks like there is a multidisciplinary skill is required. So it is, uh, there is enough thing for physics, chemistry, biology, engineering, material science. So this is an area I think uh, probably many people should join together and uh, study uh, you know, I am just uh, immediately remembering like uh, uh, blind people and looking at the elephant. Different people probably are looking at different things and maybe that should be some coordinated way we look at it and uh, uh, then try to understand that. It is an area, according to me, like you know, in research we say two areas. One is curiosity driven research, other is uh, mission oriented research. In the Department of Atomic Energy we have many programs which are mission oriented. But we also do a lot of curiosity driven research and this is an area which is definitely belonging to this category and it should excite young minds and uh, you know, I think he has taken the first step of bringing the conference of this type to uh, tell students and the young minds uh, such a field is open and uh, they should and I do hope thanks to these efforts uh, I think we will find more students coming forward to take it up as a challenge. So you talked about coordination among all the sides. And since there is a shortage of funds, are you planning for international sort of uh, 